Okay, everyone, so first things first, as far as tools go, you're going to need a driver so you can have it screwed onto your wall or frame. You're going to need some good wrenches so you can work on the plumbing. And of course, you're going to need the right type of fittings and connectors, which we will go through in just a little bit. So this is basically all you need as far as tools. We're going to go over now as far as all the connections, what you will need. Okay, so now that we've covered the tools that you're going to be needing, we're going to go over some of the accessories and supplies you will need as well. So I strongly recommend you get a braided, a steel braided flexible hose for your water lines. Make sure they are half inch on this side. This is the side that's connecting into the water heater. And as far as length, they have them in three feet, two feet, whatever you need to get you from your point of entry as far as water goes uh, coming into your tank and then going back to the house so the length is up to you you know how far it is from your tank to your connector but I do recommend braided steel and of course half inch same thing goes for your gas line and I do recommend you have this and I'll tell you a little bit more about this on a description so you'll have a safety as far as connecting it but this is where it will connect into your water heater this is coming from your gas line I strongly recommend you change your flexible gas connecting pipe since you're already doing the install so get this and the length is according to what you need they have them 36 inches 48 but you'll need this adapter and you'll need this because this cannot connect into your water heater and neither can this part here okay so you'll have to put this in here like this and we'll go over in fine detail a little bit later but this connects just like you see it there and this coupling is what allows the connection to happen between the water heater and your actual pipe so this side now will go into the water heater you do need some tape I strongly recommend just use the red one for your pipes for water and then for gas for gas you use the yellow or you can also use this right here okay the pipe thread sealant it depends uh, some prefer this some prefer this whatever either either one is fine but then for your water you want to use your red Teflon don't use the blue use the red okay so as you can see it's on the table and I would recommend you do this because you want to try to work as easy as you can while you can before you might have to get on your back or on your knees and and do some simple things that we're going to do next so we're going to use the uh, pipe thread sealant only on the gas line and I'll show you a little bit about that later with as far as the connector goes and then we're also going to use our Teflon tape for our two water lines now if you notice here there are some indicators which is which so down here it says gas inlet and over here water output so this is the water going to your house that's already been heated that's the reason why the lettering here is red and over over here where it says water inlet is your water coming in from your source whether it be the city or a well that's coming into your water heater tank from your source and if you don't have those labels on there or if it's in Chinese or another language the easy way to tell is you will see that little screen there and the purpose of that is to trap any minerals that may get into the tank so as long as you see that screening material there that's the 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 way that the water comes into the tank and this is the way it goes out of your tank into your home as hot water so cold water coming in hot water going out and then of course your gas inlet and if you notice there's two batteries there they're D batteries and that's because this tank is 100 percent non-dependent of your house electrical or current it just uses two D size batteries and you want to make sure on the on the uh, labeling that you have it the right way so in this particular case I'm, I'm sure 90 percent of them are like this your positive terminal is on the back battery and your negative terminal is on the battery that's closest to you so I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, Teflon tape in there and we'll get back to the video in just shortly here okay so as you see here we've got our Teflon tape in there and over here we just simply cannot put in your 
gas connection in there. It's not the same. It wouldn't, it wouldn't go through. Okay? So what you need to do is, inside the bag where this comes from, you already have this adapter. The one on, on the right, this one here. Okay? So this will go right in here. Just like this. Bear with me. It's not easy when you're trying to hold the camera and do this. But anyway, I've got on a tripod now, so... And then this guy here, this coupling, goes here, just like you saw me put it in there, and eventually goes here. Now, I like to put this together first, these two together, and then put it on here. So then my gas pipe that's coming through the ground, coming up from the ground, will just connect, and that's it, and you're done. And then, same way, your half inch flex braided flex pipe will go in there as you can see it's already in I'm not gonna put it all the way through because we're gonna mount it first but I'm gonna go ahead and put these two together and show you the mounting right afterwards okay so it's already put together and I ran out of the uh, the first thread sealant I had so this is a different bottle they are in color the colors are different but anyway you can see that's in there real good and that means it's going to be a tight seal and then when you put it on you want to make sure you get it all over the thread don't worry if you put too much but you just want to squeeze that in there okay make sure you get it all the way around now we're going to go this way See if we can turn this a little over. And just putting it on the edge is good enough. It'll push it. Okay. And then we'll get this guy in there. Hand tighten first. And then what you want to do is you want to hold this side here with one wrench while you tighten over here so you don't force this you know and break it perhaps so you want to hold it here and tighten here we're going to do that and then go back to the video okay so i got it in there and you can see how some of the uh, the uh, sealant has already protruded through there and that's fine as you tighten it that's going to happen so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to also put some sealant here once we get our gas line connected to it. But we're going to go ahead and hang this guy and take it from there. Okay, so you can see the setup that we have here. We have a board there where we're going to hang the tankless water heater to. I built that frame around it just to give it stability. The flooring had caved in before. And we're going to go ahead and hang it there. We, you notice we have our, our exhaust there. For the fumes and we're gonna we already have a screw right here in the middle because you just need one just to hold it in there and then you can put the other screws but we're gonna go ahead and do that next okay so now we have it hung on that board we had back there and just want to point out we got our we had our original screw in there it was just to hold it we put in two more screws to kind of you see how you can't move it really well and there's still some more in the bottom that we can put but we want to go ahead and make sure that it's secure. Then we can bring this guy down a little bit so that the uh, fumes exhaust properly. So we're going to do that as well. Okay, so you can see we've got the exhaust right in there nicely so that we can get the fumes out. And then panning down to the bottom, you can see our connectors are now ready to have our pipes installed, both the two water lines and your gas line. And as we go down here, you can see that our gas line of course is shut and our main is also shut so following this main water line okay this is the one that's gonna go down below here where we had mentioned water in and remember there's a mesh there so we're gonna go ahead and connect this guy I'm gonna try to do as much as we can by hand tightening first and then later 
we will go ahead and and also you know what we're gonna go ahead and put a screw there because you can see how this moves a little bit just to give us stability before we get our pipes in there so let's go ahead and do that alrighty so we got our screw in there that'll keep the uh, water heater stable we also made sure it was level and then we're gonna put our other water line this is the water line that's coming that's already been heated by the water heater and it's coming into the house already as hot water so this is your wa hot water tap on your sink faucet uh, shower so I'm trying to get as much as I can by hand tightening and then later we will make sure we tighten it with a wrench and we're also going to insulate these lines as well we'll do that and then get our gas line ready as well okay so you can see we've already got the uh, insulation of the pipes in there and we already got the uh, pipe sealant for your gas line and at that point all we need to do is bring your gas line into it and start hand tightening don't worry about any excess coming through there you don't need to go a whole lot with your wrench so just go maybe a little quarter turn afterwards you want to make sure you hold this one if you've never done this before you want to hold this and then just thread this guy in there another thing I forgot to mention earlier is when you're putting your Teflon tape you always want to make sure you go clockwise so if this is a clock in front of you you want to make sure you go this way okay so it's gonna go this way because that's the way the thread is gonna go as far as these guys here you're gonna thread in this way you want your Teflon tape to go the same way. If you don't, you're going to have a mess, and you'll find out that you're doing it wrong. Okay, so we've already tightened these, and what I did is I used an adjustable wrench. That's all you need right here to tighten your water pipes and right here. And before you even test the water heater, you want to test that your water connections are solid, that they're not leaking any water. So you want to make sure if there's any water from the pipes before you dry them out thoroughly. And then you want to go ahead and turn on your main, which is right here, and kind of watch for any water leaks. So we're going to go ahead and do that next. You can hear the water going through the tank. And you can see there's no leaks. You want to check for that. If there is, obviously, you would have to go ahead and shut off your main. And it's a good idea to be close to your main or at least have someone if the main is too far from the tank. But you should have one within the proximity. And then just check for any water leaks. This is solid. There's no leaks there at all. So next thing you want to do is check your gas for any leaks. And the way we do that is, as you can see there, there's this is your main. We're going to open it up. And when we open it up, we're going to spray around here. You, you're going to have a 32 ounce water sprayer with some soap in it. So I have mine here. And you can see the top, there's soap in there. And if there's any bubbling around there with the gas open, you want to immediately shut off your gas and re tighten. So we're going to go ahead and do that next. Okay, so I just went ahead and opened it up. And I'm just going to go ahead and start spraying here. Okay, so that's a close-up and as long you, you see bubbles there but what I'm talking about is bubbling where the bubbles are actually bubbling okay so you don't see that anywhere I'm gonna spray some more right here and there and all looks good of course you could always smell the gas and if that's the case just shut it off immediately and like I said with the water, it's always a good thing to have it close to you just to make sure that it is working properly. I also want to point out that just like you see here, they do have them also at an angle. So if you're in a tight situation, you can also get them like this. I will also put a link in the description as far as where you can get these. These are critical because with these tankless water heaters, 
your direct line for gas will not work so you do need to make sure you have your uh, adapter doesn't matter if it's straight or if you want to have it angled but we're, go we're going to go ahead and make another video where we'll show it in operation and talk a little bit more about the tankless water heater but this is a good to go install so look out for the next video and you should be able to find it on our video list if not we'll also put a link on the description so you can see it as well